Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Monroe Live. Um, we're here in beautiful uh, Vancouver, and I'm here with Bruce. Hi, my name is Bruce Stout. I'm with the Vancouver Electric Vehicle Association, and we're the owners of this 1913 Detroit Electric, which was built as an electric car in 1912. It's a 1913 model, 1912 is yeah. when it was built, and it was a, built as a 100% electric car by the Anderson Carriage Company of Detroit, Michigan. And there we go. So what's really cool about this, I think, is that um, this car was a daily driver until when? To the mid 1960s. So the original batteries were the Edison nickel iron batteries. Yeah. And we have a certificate on file that was given to the French family of Victoria. He was a veterinarian, his wife was the driver yeah. of the car. After 25 years of successful use of the batteries, because of this type of technology, you replace the electrolyte every year, and that's what made it all work. Mm. So at the end of the day, um, the Mrs. French lived at my favorite hotel on the planet, um, the Empress. So I have no idea if they still do that kind of stuff, but if I was going to make a, a, a place to live for the rest of my life, the Empress Hotel would be right up there on the top. So we have a, a little, a little uh, uh, vignette here about how everything worked. So why don't you just give us a So we background. start at the back journey into the past. <laughs> this was Dr. French in, uh, when he was involved in the military in the First World War. This is his wife. These are some people that actually collected cars at that period of time. So when she passed on in the mid-1960s, the car was picked up by a, one of Vancouver Island's collectors of cars mm -hmm. because the car was wheeled to the custodian of the garage in the Empress Hotel. So he would bring the car up for her and he would take care of the car and keep it charged. So consequently, he got the car and he passed it on to these people. In 1986, the car was at the Expo 86 exhibition in Vancouver. After that, it retired to the Transportation Museum. In 1988, the Transportation Museum was disbanded by the new, newly elected government, so they didn't feel that they needed it. Four very intelligent people got together and formed the Vancouver Electric Vehicle Association, and they, a small sum of money changed hands, and they picked up custody, custody of the car. I love government. So it's you been know, our car amazing. ever since 1988. We yeah. have it registered with the Insurance Corporation of British Columbia as our title. Excellent. And, uh, and again, leave it to government to be able to predict the future. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> let's come in and have yeah. a look here. Now, so, here's your so battery pack. So what we've pack. done here with the battery pack here is if you take a look at this picture over here, this is the original battery pack that was in this car right here. Okay, so we went through a period of time where we had lead-acid batteries in the car after we got it because as a club that's only funded by $25 memberships per person, uh, we don't have a lot of spare change to do things. Fortunately for us, one of our members was kind enough to give us a donation of approximately $8,000, and we went out and sourced these batteries out of China, very much of the same style of battery as was originally in the car. Mm. So they're a, a nickel iron battery with a uh, basic substance, I think it's potassium chloride for the electrolyte inside. These batteries will outlast myself and every other person that's worked on this car. Yeah. We expect at least another yeah. 25 years of service out of these batteries. That's uh, kind of amazing. Um, there's a friend of mine, his name is uh, Mujib Ijaz. He has one of these things. It's in spectacular shape. Right. And he actually has, in essence, the original batteries. And he, they've been restored and whatnot, but he has the original batteries in his. Why don't we come over here sure. and, and get a full uh, Come on a in and I'll show you how it works. Yeah, so absolutely. I'm going to get in first, if okay. you excuse me here. And one of the nice things about this car is you can wear your top hat in it. Well, naturally. I mean, that is what I want, is uh, the ability to wear a top hat when I'm driving. Yeah, excellent. So if we pull this bar down here, this is your steering tiller. Push to go left, pull to go right. You notice that this is your acceleration. So if I push it away from me, that'll put the car in gear. Now the batteries are disconnected now. That's why I can do that. Yeah. On the floor, you'll notice there's two brake pedals. So it's a mechanical braking system. Oh, the right left brake left. pedal is the left brake at the rear. The right is the uh, right pedal. Right pedal, exactly. Wow. The thing in the center is, of course, your uh, locking brake pedals, which lock everything. There is a, a meter down there that once upon a time worked 
will give you your state of charge. You can see that it's a three-person car uh, with uh, the traditional bud vase and everything. Yeah, well, you've got to have a bud vase. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, I can't even imagine this there's no power steering on this it's called armstrong steering yeah and uh, i can't imagine um a little old lady um who must have been in her 90s uh in the 60s oh it would be yeah. no problem once the car's rolling uh, it yeah, steers beautifully yeah, yeah but if the car isn't rolling it won't so if yeah. you push those two pedals together there and put your foot off all the way back you have now released the brakes. Ah, very good. So if good. you push everything together at once with your pressure on the center the center thing, you've got to yeah. push all three at all once. All three at once. Yeah, there's, that's where you go. And okay, now, now you've got now the you've, emergency brake on or whatever? Or that's what's that's supposed to happen there, yeah. Okay, maybe I'm not pushing hard enough. Well, or whatever. Whatever. Anyway, you know, anyway, at the end of the work. day, I'm sure that it does work. But, uh, but well, the for, longest I've driven really this car is 25 this. kilometers. 25 kilometers. Right. And that was in Seashelt, uh, in, which is uh, on what we call the Sunshine Coast. And yeah. that was part, it was the last car in a rod run of 350 cars with roughly 10,000 people on the street watching it drive. Well, so, I, uh, it's, it's really too bad we couldn't get a chance to pull it out on the seacoast and driving around. <laughs> but uh, but I, I really thought that it was kind of cool that you guys were here and, um, and you know, uh, and and you know, keeping this thing, uh, this king, this thing alive. Now, you, it looks to me like this might be. Is this the original oh, upholstery? No, no, no. There's been substantial work done on this. Uh -huh. As a uh, club that's funded by $25 memberships, we don't have a lot of spare cash, so we have a gentleman by the name of Hawken McCollum, who is probably the person that knows more about this car than any other living person on the planet. Uh -huh. And he's been the person that's done the care and feeding. He's redone the uh, drum controller. If you lift your feet here for a second, just put them yeah. forward. Right underneath here, you can see there's the actual controller. And yeah, that's what this I controller do this? does. Yeah, yeah, just put that foot up a little this. higher there. And there you this. go. And now we can at least get so a picture of it. So this is the controller. So if we move this thing right here, this is going to be really interesting for Sandy. He's going to try and, OK. So you can see it down below. This is actually moving. Okay. Well, I can't see it, well, but uh, the camera can. That's the yeah, important the thing. Yeah, the camera can. Let me get my <laughs> foot out of there. Well, yep. I'll look at the video later. Yep. So, so this is a <laughs> drum controller out of a 1912 elevator, and that's the way that technology works. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yep. And These the electric are motor is a DC motor out of a yeah. 1912 elevator. This is the technology they used when they built this. Remember, yeah. this was a horse carriage company that yeah. built this car. Yeah. They then changed their name to the Anderson uh, Car Company, or rather the Detroit Electric Car Company. Yeah. Which is, you know, they saw the future. Well, um, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but uh, I was born in Windsor, and, um, and that was uh, initially the home of a Ford uh, British Empire. Okay. That was the original kind of uh, right. strategy. And the guy that bought it uh, owned a uh, carriage company, and it was called the Wag uh, sorry the Walkerville Wagon Works. Okay. And it was right on the Detroit River, and that's where the uh, uh, Henry Ford was very interested in the United States, not so interested in the rest of the world. They came to an agreement between uh, the the two people, and they shook hands, and the next thing you know, the Walkerville Wagon Works became uh, Ford. British Empire. I can't remember what the heck it was called originally, and then later on it just became Ford of Canada. Okay. But they had the ability to do everything, and then Henry was talked into, hey, you know what? You're giving away the farm here. So, uh, so it uh, it it changed uh, the, uh, the the company changed around a little bit to make it more international. But at the end of the day, um, this this car right here, or this style of car, um, a Baker Electric, I think is what Mrs. Ford had. She oh, no, had actually, no, Mrs. Ford had a couple she of these. She had one of these? Yep, okay, she had so, Detroit Electric because she didn't want to be in a situation yeah. where she had to get somebody to start her car for her. Right, that was the biggest problem. That and the fact that she did not like the smell. Yeah, and you, and, know, uh, you know the story about uh, Mr. Kettering, the head of Cadillac, who had a friend that was uh, injured trying to help start somebody's car on a yeah. bridge in Michigan, or Detroit, yeah. and actually died a couple of days later, and he mandated to the Cadillac uh, engineers that they would come up with an electric starter. Uh, he was the one who came up with the original uh, sketch on how that electric starter was going to work. Right. Let me just pop this back up. Um, so Boss Kettering is uh, one of my heroes, actually. Yep. So um, so anyway, uh, let's get out. All right, and, I'll uh, let you get out and, first. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I can't imagine how to do this with a hoop skirt on and whatnot, but women were a lot more agile, I guess, or maybe they all well, were more agile. Well, that was why this had this, uh, the clearance that we've got yeah, here. Because right. it's designed for me to wear my hat and her to wear her bonnet. Yeah. Well, I was looking at the big skirts and whatnot that they used to have. Yeah, you come around the back so of the anyway, car, let's have a look at the uh, batteries back here. Yeah. So it's a 72 volt system that runs the actual car. 72 volts. Right. We can't get guys to go to 48 volts in here. This runs at 78. 70, 70 actually 72, yeah. 72, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so what we're using is half the pack to run all the LEDs up front there. Cool. Well, Bruce, um, this was uh, Thank you fantastic. so much for stopping. I Thank really appreciate it. Thank you very much it. for showing me this. And yep. actually, now that I found out you're $25 or whatever. Well, if you give us $50, you get a two-year two membership for $50. Uh, I'm going to give you and 50 we'll give you a bag. Here, this is 100 bucks. So there you are. Okay. Thank you so much. So give me two names and, uh, and we'll get memberships. Uh, Thank you very much. Nice pictures of the queen here. Yes, yes, lovely pictures of the queens. Anyways, um, this is a donation. I, 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 I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be coming back. We will back send that you a membership card. Oh, okay. that'll be great. So thank you very much for the donation to the Vancouver Electric Vehicle yes, Association. Yeah. We very much appreciate that. Thank you so much for uh, bringing me here. And thank you all for watching uh, at, right here in uh, beautiful uh, Vancouver uh, at the Fully Charged Show. More to come. We'll see you. Bye.